This weekend, it's International Observe the Moon Day, right? Everybody can see the moon. It's, it's kind of like the bat sign. And not only that, but you can see it even if you live in a city where there are a lot of city lights or you, you can't even see Venus or some other bright star, for example, but you can always see the moon, right? Okay, it's kind of like a flash mob, except it's better because, you know, everyone can participate. You can see the moon just using your peepers or a pair of binoculars, or maybe you can haul that 26-inch Dobsonian reflector out of the garage before it collapses in on its own weight, thanks to all that dust and use that. Use anything you've got. Anybody can see the moon, right? Now, the moon's phase will be, well, waxing gibbous after it's finished waxing my dining room table here. Waxing gibbous, that means that if you have binoculars or a telescope, you can see the craters along the Terminator. Not a movie. The Terminator is that line between the light and the dark, the light and the shadowed side of the moon. So for more info, just go onto the web and look up Observe the Moon Day. It's the 26th here in the United States, so that's Saturday. Check it out, go out at night, get the neighbors out of their place and have them look at the moon too. You can share any photos you make, observations, poetry you write, whatever, on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. Oh, and by the way, don't miss out on this because, you know, thanks to the tides, the moon is moving away from us and next year, it'll be one inch farther out and observe the moon day will be a little less gratifying.